<laughs> on this Cyber Monday. Did you know, even know it was Cyber Monday? It is. The National Retail Federation expects e-commerce to grow 20 to 30 percent over last year. Americans could ship 3 billion packages between Thanksgiving and Christmas. Now that's up 800 million from 2019. That's a lot of packages. Shippers were already at peak capacity due to this pandemic. Chris Van Cleve is in United Airlines cargo facility. That's at Dulles Airport. That's outside of Washington, D.C. So, Chris, here's a question. United's also going to be helping with the vaccine distribution. So will everything get there on time? They got packages. They got vaccine. They got lots to do. Well, good morning, Gail. The short answer is no. Millions of packages potentially a day will be late, so you need to ship early. Now, for airlines, cargo has been a real rare bright spot. They're going to pick up some of this surplus, and that includes the vaccine. United has already started flying the vaccine, in fact, and they can store temperature-sensitive things in rooms like the one behind us here. The vaccine, of course, is going to be given top priority, holidays or not. Alyssa Petnato is starting early and doing almost all of her holiday shopping online, but worries about her gifts arriving on time. I feel like shipping this year is going to be a task, you know, <laughs> I think people are going to get backed up. Shippers like FedEx have been at peak Christmas shopping levels since March. The pandemic has packed three years of anticipated e-commerce growth into just eight months. When you think about this holiday season, it really is a peak on top of a peak. Ship Matrix estimates shippers can handle around 79 million packages a day between Thanksgiving and Christmas, but Americans are likely to send 87 million daily. That means seven to eight million packages each day could be delayed. People need to be prepared for their packages to be late. Some of them, yes, and they also can help by ordering in advance and not procrastinating till the final week of Christmas. And that's before shippers are also asked to deliver the coronavirus vaccine as soon as mid-December. FedEx will use its fleet of planes for the vaccine while its ground operations handle the bulk of the gifts. The vaccine distribution is the most important thing that we are preparing to do um, over the next several months. United Airlines has added 8,000 cargo-only flights so far this year. That's in addition to the cargo carried on passenger flights coming and going to more than 100 countries daily. Everything from fresh fish to the U.S. mail and now the Pfizer coronavirus vaccine. This is essentially a giant refrigerator and it's where United would put something that needs to be kept cool until it gets picked up by another shipper. This, all pharmaceuticals here, waiting for delivery. United's Kate Harbin. We recognize that this is going to be the biggest distribution challenge that the airlines and, in fact, the supply chain in general has faced in our lifetimes. There's concern that there's not capacity enough to deliver everything on time. It's a concern, and that's why we're preparing for all possible outcomes. And this is something not just United is preparing for, but the entire industry. Now, shippers say that today and tomorrow are going to be among the busiest days between now and Christmas. Every Monday leading up to Christmas, also very busy. So whether you're the post office, FedEx, UPS, all the shippers agree on one thing. If you're going to send your gifts and you want to ensure they're there by Christmas, they need to be mailed by December 18th. You have 19 days and counting. Anthony? Okay, I'm writing that down, Chris. Thank you very much. 19 days. Note to family, it's okay if my gifts are late. <laughs> the vaccine gets out first. That's right. Everything to get that vaccine out. Thanks, Chris.